it is estimated that that 4 million tons of food are wasted in China or Chinese restaurants every year. So Chinese restaurants which hold competitions have a case to answer that is the food heating competitions. For example, one Chinese restaurant or Italy had organized a competition to, to see who would be the fastest to eat one or eight spicy dumplings. And that person will be the winner. He will be called the king of the big stomach, according to news from China. So competitive eating is banned by raw in China. Some restaurants weigh their customers to determine how much food they should be given. That is the kind of food which they can finish. So you are given food according to your need. Elsewhere, the U.S. is sending or has approved sending of cluster bombs to Ukraine. Uh, these cluster bombs are bombs which produce um, what we call pomblets. They dispatch they disperse large numbers of tiny pomblets from a rocket or a missile and then this they scatter them in the air over a wide area. Some of these uh, pomblets do not explode. Uh, for example, when they land on a soft ground or on water, they come to explode later. Uh, these um, cluster bombs are banned in over 100 countries globally. Uh, they are banned in f countries uh, like France, United Kingdom, Germany, and others. The reason why the cluster bombs or munitions are, are banned is because of their negative impact on civilian populations, especially children. Those bomblets which do not uh, explode, they later on explode when they are found on the ground by children, more especially children, because they think those are praying equipment. The US, Ukraine and Russia have not signed the treaty which bans cluster bombs, so they are allowed or they, they have no problem in using them. Uh, in other news, Ukraine has had applied for NATO membership or NATO membership in September 2022 and uh, they requested for emergency kind of treatment so that they quickly get into NATO or NATO. However, now Ukraine cannot join during the current Russian-Ukrainian conflict because NATO countries could technically have to declare war on Russia and that might lead to World War Three, in my own, own opinion. NATO has currently over 40,000 troops who can be mobilized on short notice and their target is to be able to mobilize 300,000 troops within one month. Members of NATO as a way of preparation are asked to continue stockpiling ammunition and they spend a minimum of 2% of their GDP on defense. Some small background about NATO. NATO was founded in the year 1949 by 12 member countries, mostly in North America, that is the US, France, and Germany. And now currently they have 31 member states of NATO. Uh, most of them are coming from North America and Europe. Finland was the latest member to join NATO or NATO because they feel threatened by Russia. So they have abandoned their policy of uh, being neutral or the policy of neutrality. Neut ne Finland, if you can look at the map of Europe, it shares a border with Russia over 1,340 kilometers of land borders with Russia. The country became a member of NATO in April 2023. So NATO is an alliance of countries which want 
to prevent ag aggression from outside parties. So if you attack one member country of, N of NATO, they will declare war on you and then they will beat you up seriously. They will gang up against you. So it's an alliance of members who want to be able to, to fight back better. That is why they are delaying membership of Ukraine. Because once they approve their membership, NATO will be fighting Russia. They will declare war on Russia. Okay, thank you very much for tuning in to Karosi TV. Let us meet on the next episode.